Yo, what's going on, with Ghost here, and today I'm bringing you guys another comparison video between the Groza and FFAR. Now, this comparison right here is something I've been wanting to do for a little bit because, you know, I feel like both these weapons are very similar to each other at what they do. And with the recent nerf to the DMR, I was able to finally do it because, you know, sniping the DMR meta was not, it was not it. But with the DMR nerf, sniping has been prevailing again, and it's been fun to do, and you're able to do it now. So, here we are. But before we get into the comparison, I want to say if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications. We are on the road to 2K. Um, we are like, what, 700 subs away, you know, but you can make it quicker or easier if you just hit that sub button for your boy. Please, appreciate it. Also, um, if you guys want some live streaming entertainment, if you want to see me live, uh, check me out on Twitch. Always goes underscore. Your boy's been grinding it pretty hard lately. Um, and I'm not, you know, I don't see myself stopping anytime soon. But if you want to hang out with me live, uh, vibe, you know, go check me out. I'm telling you, it is really a vibe. Ask anyone who's been in my Twitch streams, man. We've been vibing over there, and you know, we're missing out. But with that being said, let's get into the comparison video. And here we have the Rico pattern for the Groza, and here is the class setup. Now, one thing that I do with pretty much all guns and all my class setups is run a suppressor with my weapons. But in this case, for the Groza, I don't know. It just the agency suppressor was not hidden. And so I decided to try out uh, the muzzle that I decided to try out, and you know the class setup for me completely changed. Um, now one of the biggest inspirations of me wanting to use this weapon was actually the ground loot Groza. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm talking about the purple one specifically. Um, I don't know that one. That purple Groza off the ground just hits different, bro. Like I had a, like a sequence where I went off. I was smoking with that thing, and I was like, bro, I gotta try this out in the loadout. And, well, you know, I leveled it up, and boom, here we are. And, actually, as I'm using this Groza, it reminded me a lot of the FFAR, because both weapons do not have, like, crazy range. They're pretty quick at killing at medium and close range, and they're very capable of outgunning SMGs at, you know, the close to medium range engagements. And, also, with these weapons, you're more than likely going to use a sniper with it. You're, like, 99% going to put a loadout with the sniper when you run both these weapons. Um, you can't really use the Groza FFR as a primary. Like, if you use a Groza and MAC-10, it's not really ideal because you literally have no long range. Because, you know, again, the Groza quite literally doesn't have long range. Like, the FFR, you can kind of get away with long range. Maybe um, the recoil kind of makes it impossible. But the Groza just doesn't even, it doesn't even reach that far. And I, I kind of wish that these weapons were more, like... ARs, like, they don't really feel like ARs to me, you know? Like, they're very, they're hybrid, but they're more on the SMG side, you know? Like, they don't possess AR qualities because, you know, the range is non-existent. But the close range and medium range, like, it's, they're fire. They're really fire, which makes it a very viable weapon to run with the sniper, which is what I did for every game. I never ran the FFAR or goes as a secondary, which is something that I've seen a lot of people try using, but it's kind of inefficient because if you run like a Growl or any other primary that's going to take up, you know, your AR ammo, running either the Groza or the FFAR as secondary won't be, it's not really efficient because you're going to run out of ammo and if you're not getting a lot of kills, well then, what's the point of running it? Because you're just going to be stuck with no ammo. But man, listen, this Groza... I don't know, like, I feel like I could have potentially used a better class setup. Um, I feel like I didn't unlock the full capabilities of it with my class. Um, like, it was melting, but it didn't feel like the ground loot. I know there's been a lot of ground loot weapons over the course of Warzone that I just feel like, man, if I had this class, I think I could slay out with it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, you know, I feel like people can relate to that. But one thing that you may be noticing is that I'm using a side on it, which is actually, I don't know, like... The, the ground loot one had the sight, and I was like, I'm going to put a sight on it. It might, you know, it might hit. And I literally, the first time I saw the iron sight of the Groza was when I did the recoil pattern. You saw earlier in the video. That's the first time I saw the iron sight Groza. And I, I don't know. Like, it's not a terrible iron sight, but I much rather use a sight than the iron sight. I don't know. Just, it's not a completely horrible. Like, you could still see it. I'm pretty sure it's viable. Um, but, I don't know. I think the custom that I got is nice. It still has, like, no recoil. It doesn't shoot, like, out of control. Because the FFVR, you know, shoots really fast. It's controllable, but, you know, sometimes you can lose control because it shoots too fast. You know, you're not prepared for it. But the Groza is, like, that calm fire rate. Pretty, you know, it's, it's quick, but it's not too quick. You know, it's on the calm side. The recoil is great. The damage is great. And it's overall a pretty good weapon. 
aside from the range aspect or the range factors but honestly I still did good with it it's a really fun gun to use if you want to try something different I would definitely recommend it but with that being said let's get into the FFAR and here we have the recoil pattern for the FFAR again a very simple recoil pattern however uh, with this high fire rate it just starts going up very quickly um, but I will say that it, from my experience and from the people that I play with and from what I've seen overall, it's actually very easy to control the FFAR. You're able to gun people at close to medium range. And overall, I feel like it's a pretty easy weapon to use. I will say, though, that, that there is some instances where the you know, you're know you trying to fight somebody and your aim goes all over the place. It's happened to me. Um, I'm not innocent. I don't have perfect aim with the FFAR at all times. But... It's still a very good weapon, and if you guys recall, if you've seen my uh, Mac 10 versus FFAR comparison, I mentioned that the FFAR, in my opinion, was one of the more reliable weapons at close range, and I even said it was better than Mac 10 at close range, which I still stand by because this thing is a monster. And recently, over the past few days in Warzone, I've been running the FFAR a lot with the sniper. Um, every aspect of range is covered with my loadout, and I'm very confident at every range because of the capabilities of both my weapons, specifically FFAR at close to medium range, where, you know, I, I like to say that a lot of my engagements come at those ranges, and, you know, I got to compete with all the other top secondaries, like the, the MAC-10, the 74 u um, MP5s, you know, and this gun does very well at competing with those weapons. And trust me, I can see why a lot of people like using it. And, you know, right now it's kind of the more go-to for people in terms when they go sniping. Like, every time I tune into a stream or watch a YouTuber, they try to snipe with a car or any sniper for that matter. They're more than likely going to be using FFAR. And I kind of hope that this video shines a little bit more light on the Groza because I think the Groza is a very, I guess, a good alternative to the FFAR. Um, they're both really good weapons. Like, I don't know. But the Groza, to me, is more slept on. Which is kind of kind of sad, but maybe it's because you know it's I don't know actually I don't know why it would be why it's being slept on because I feel like both FFAR and Gross are very similar and they're to me like brothers they are just they do everything they do are just pretty much identical to each other close to medium range they do it they kind of have no recoil like the Groza doesn't really have crazy recoil and the FFAR when you're controlling it doesn't you know doesn't really have recoil like that and you're more than likely going to pair it out with the sniper. Like, they're literally both weapons made for snipers. If you want to run around and snipe, which I know a lot of people like doing it, I myself really enjoy sniping with the car, even though, ironically, I have, like, a lot to say about snipers. Not good, by the way. But I still snipe. Um, and the last few days, that's all I've been doing. Just been running the girls I feel on sniper, and I've been having a lot of success. Um, but, yeah, listen. Maybe you haven't leveled up the Groza yet. Maybe you've been more leaning toward the FFAR. And that's fine, because FFAR is a really good weapon. Again, like I keep mentioning. But the Groza is a weapon they should look into. Maybe the popular opinion of it is not the best. I don't know what exactly people think about it, because I don't actually see it that much. I don't see it very often. Again, like I mentioned, the go-to weapon for people when they snipe is the FFAR, the MAC-10, something other than the Groza, which is insane to me because this gun is really good. And for the solo players out there, it's a monster. It's able to outgun a lot of guns. I mean, you know, if in a solo situation, I would lean towards the FFAR. I would definitely consider the FFAR one of the more, like, kings of solos. Like, I consider it top three. Um, and the Groza, you know, I'll put it up there as well, but you got to be very careful when you go up against FFAR. Because I will say this, I think the Groza is really good. But the FFAR, if it was in a theoretical head-to-head -head battle, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you're running up on somebody. They got FFAR, and you got a Grozen. Look, man, I'm just saying, I think the FFAR wins it. You know? I think the FFAR wins it. Um, even at medium range, I think it wins it. Um, you know, if the person's hitting all their shots, and they get the first few shots on you, I think you lose it. I'm not going to lie. I think, I think you lose it, because, you know, it's very hard to compete with that high fire rate, and the damage, like, it... It's truly, truly very hard to compete with that. Most guns, no. All the guns can't really compete with that unless you're using FFAR. And I know that you have either killed somebody or been killed by the ground loader FFAR. So you already know. Like a base FFAR like that can destroy people. So imagine when you're able to, you know, stack it up, put some attachments on it, and make it a complete monster. You already know what it can do. But that doesn't mean you should sleep on the things like the Groza because this thing is a monster as well. 
It's just, I feel like it's right now in the, in the shadow of the VR, which is kind of sad. And I hope that it kind of rises in the shadow. We kind of have like a, you know, a battle between, oh, you know, people want to prefer this one over the other. People prefer this one over the other. I don't know. I just want diversity. I don't want people to just run FFR when they snipe or just the MAC-10. I want more guns to be usable with the sniper. I'm pretty much, you could use any gun to sniper. But, I mean, if you use, like, a growl with a sniper, you're going to get put down at close range. You know what I'm saying? So, there's really, like, a like a limited pool of weapons that you can use while sniping because you're able to get that close to medium range. And with your sniper, you have the far range, obviously. But, anyways, with that being said, uh, let me know your thoughts on Negroza. Let me know how you feel about it, if you like it or not, and why. Um, and also, make sure to try out the Groza if you haven't leveled up. Or, you know, if you're just looking for a gun to level up, I suggest using the Groza because I think it's a beast. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later, and I'm out. Peace.